Alright, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 2 Pleasant View. Alrighty, so today we are back with the Caliente slash Lothario household. And, okay, I forgot about this stuff, y'all. Okay, so... Y'all know me, I'm still learning the ropes and relearning how to play The Sims 2, um, and it's just taking me a minute. You know, you, you go with the flow, you learn as you go. Alright, well I forgot that we have these Aspiration Rewards, which I haven't had um, Nina use any of hers yet, but what is this? Is your toddler moving slowly? Okay, well, you know what? We're going to use this for Olivia so we can teach her her skills a lot faster. I'm pretty sure that makes her, like, super smart. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to invest in that. But also, you have the career rewards. Now, John has already unlocked his. He is a resident. So, I purchased this. I didn't really have any room. So, I just, like, put it here in this empty space in their bedroom for him to practice on. And he does have work today at 6. Um, so, I'm going to hang out a little bit with Nina. I do believe, yeah, she is off today. And she um, just got Olivia up. And I think Olivia is a little bit hungry. So, you know what we're going to do is come down here and put her in her chair. And then we're going to go ahead and make some smart milk for her. And then I guess since he is going to work, I'm going to have Nina spend a little bit of time with Olivia. And we're going to work on her skills and everything. And then um, once, you know, he gets home and tomorrow, I think they both work in the evenings. I want them to go on a date. Um, a little bit of a day date <laughs> since they both work at night. But I really want them to spend some time with each other because they haven't. They haven't spent a lot of time with each other since she got pregnant. So, let's go ahead and, um, oh no, Olivia. No, I don't want you to eat that food. Okay, Get, no, 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 Olivia, please stop. I want you to eat the smart milk. Smart milk. <laughs> She's not listening. She's so hard-headed. Okay, well, you know what? We'll try again next time she's hungry, but yeah, I want to work on some of her skills so we can make sure she is our happy toddler. I mean, she still has four days. Wow, they are not toddlers very long. It doesn't give you a lot of time to uh, get their skills up, which is something that they kind of need. Oh, but look, she's still hungry, so let's put her down. Well, she's kind of hungry, and let's come over here and make some smart milk for her. And I also changed Nina's outfit since it is winter. Um, I put her in this cute little outfit here, which better suits the cold, snowy weather a little bit. I mean, I'd be, I wouldn't be wearing those heels, but <laughs> did what, did what I could do. So, yeah, let's see what Don is up to. Okay, he is, ooh, ooh, mouth to mouth. He's good at that. All right, we're going to have him take a shower and make sure he is fed and everything before he goes to work. Um, but, yeah, I do want them to spend some time with each other. Um, and I, I've, I've talked about it every time I get into this, you know, family. Um, I talk about it. I'm like, look. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, pause, pause. How are things going, Don? I haven't seen you around much and just wanted to say hi. So, hi. Maybe we could hang out sometime later this week or something. Okay, so what was her name again? Alan? Yeah, okay, so he met her at the bar. He went out. Remember, he he wanted to, you know, still see if he had, you know, the game. So, he lied to Nina when she was at work. He hired a nanny and he went out. Yeah, I know. Terrible, terrible dad. But... You know what, I've talked about it, like I said, and I really do think that Olivia is changing him. You know, I'm seeing him mature, I'm seeing him grow up, and I think it's bringing him and Nina closer together, and I don't know, I feel like he's starting to feel a little bit romantic, and kind of starting to, like, see the light that this woman right here has been in his life since he was a child. They've known each other forever. She is his first love, okay? That's not just me saying that, it's in his memory. She is his first love, the first woman he fell in love with, the first woman he had a kiss with. And for them to have a baby, and, you know, we know, if you are an OG of this LP, you know that Nina kind of trapped him with a baby because she was always insecure of how much of a playboy he was. But still, nonetheless, they have a child. And I think it's opening his eyes. And he's looking at her and just thinking, you're a great mother. You're beautiful. Overall, you're my best friend. So, I don't know. I really do think that he is going to 
settle down as much as he can. He still has that playboy aspiration. He still wants to be best friends with Alan. He still wants to woohoo with five different sims. So I'm not saying that they're going to have like a perfect relationship, but I think he's going to try. I mean, I'm not saying he's not going to cheat on her, but I can see him, you know, proposing in the future and making her his wife. Maybe, maybe he'll, you know, let it all go and focus and completely on Nina and have, you know, give Nina his full heart and not full around, but it's Don, so no promises. All right, so Don is headed off to work, and Nina has taught little Olivia how to walk. Y'all, I'm telling you, I know she's glowing, and it looks like super creepy, but that milk stuff is a lifesaver because, like I said, you don't have four days to teach your little toddlers and sims to all their skills, and you want them to grow up good, so look look how fast she's being potty trained like what all right so it looks like olivia is taken after her dad i know that he's a playboy and you know mixed feelings about don but he's smart okay he's a resident which is shocking to me but hey it, he is and it looks like she's taken after her daddy and she is super smart <laughs> it's not because of the milk or anything but she's already learned how to potty train like one time using the potty and uh, she's got it uh, but anyways it looks like nina is cleaning up around the house so a little bit about how nina feels about don in the situation she she does have no idea or she does have she does not have any idea that he you know went out of town not out of town oh my gosh downtown that one night when she was working as far as she's concerned he's been loyal to her and don't get me wrong okay he didn't cheat on her nothing happened he did flirt he did talk to a bunch of women and trust me if they were willing he was ready but it didn't happen um but yeah she's always been in love with don always and that's why she trapped him <laughs> by getting pregnant you know like oops i thought my birth control was working well i don't, I don't know what happened and, and yeah, so she thinks, you know, everything's going great. She got what she wanted. And I give her props because, yes, it's completely changed his outlook. But I wouldn't hold my breath if I was her. I wouldn't, you know, put all of my eggs in his basket, you know, at this point. But she is noticing that he's a great dad and he loves his little girl. So Olivia has gained a point of logic from the magical mystery shape rattle and roll. And Nina has the night off. All right, so Nina... Um, I did have her finish her studying the mechanical skill, so she should get a promotion uh, when she goes to work tomorrow, so that'll be really good because her income, is not, she doesn't make very much money, but she is in the slacker career, and uh, I mean, she's a pretty lazy sim, so we're lucky she has a job. I mean, I guess I shouldn't complain too much, but yeah. Alright, so it is the oh, next God, morning, and Don and Nina are having breakfast, which, speaking of that, I really need to work on Nina's cooking skill, because, um, yeah, the toaster pastry just does not fill them up as quick as it should. They're gonna have to eat another plate, probably, to get satisfied hunger, but anyways, he's kind of asking her, well, you know, I know you have work tonight, what do you say, you know, that we... I don't know, go out and, you know, go to go to lunch or just do something, the two of us. And she's like, really? I would love to. And he's like, yeah, we'll call the babysitter and, you know, we'll make it a date. So, yeah, but look at here. This is interesting. I almost forget that Nina also has that romance aspiration herself. So while she is completely head over heels in love with Don and wants Don and Don only, uh, she also has that whim to woohoo with three different sims. So, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I just think these two are going to make a mistake by possibly getting married. I'm not really sure. I want y'all's opinion. And and then them just not staying faithful to each other. See, I think it's... Yes, they love each other in a sense, but the majority of it, let's, let's be honest, y'all, it's, it's lust, okay? <laughs> that's, like, that's what it is. Um, but anyways, she does have work at 10 p.m. and he has work at 6, so I'm going to make sure she's all showered up and everything. And then we're going to call the nanny and I'm going to go ahead and take them out and have them find something to do. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god, y'all. I have completely forgotten about freaking penguins. Oh my god, it's so cute! Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm freaking out right now. This is like something I've never seen before. Okay, put the baby down and come out here and pet the penguin. I mean, why not? <laughs> um, I have 
Nina come in here. She is calling the nanny uh, so they can go out. But we're going to yeah call the nanny. Um, I don't think we have her on a schedule. But, you know, I could be wrong. But, hey. Um, uh, just for now. Yeah. Okay, so she's coming over. So as soon as she gets here, we're going to be able to go on our date. I'm not sure where we're going to go yet. But look at this little thing. I'm so cute. I'm so cute. <laughs> I want one. I really do. She's coming out here to stomp on the roaches. No, pet. Can you have a pet penguin? Is that a thing? Or are we just petting them? It doesn't have a name, right? Like, we don't have a relationship with it. So, I'm, I'm assuming we can't have one. But, yeah, I think if you build snowmen, they come and they talk to the snowman. I think that's what it was, if I'm remembering correctly. But... Yeah, they're freaking out over the roaches. Uh, apparently, somebody keeps coming. Probably freaking Dina or somebody to kick over our trash can. Uh, so, that's an inconvenience. But, yeah, we're going to have to call the exterminator. But, let's go ahead and just clean this up. Oh, we have mail too. Great. Let's have him check the mail. Bye, penguin. We'll see you later. Oh, my God. Look at him walking off. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Um... I'm assuming, was that our bills? Okay, we're just going to pay all bills. I think we have the money. All right, so let's uh, go somewhere. All right, so I had them come to the bowling alley to hang out just so they could have something fun to do. And then also we have the option to um, to cook here. and not, not cook, to be fed and to be served. But anyways, yeah, let's have them come in here, I guess, and play a game of bowling. Just have a little bit of fun. We don't have a lot of time, honestly, before he has to go to work. So we better come over here and play while we can this is this really cute though i feel like they haven't done this in a long time since they were teenagers but look at this guy steven taylor what's he laughing at don't piss don off now don don't don't get mad don't get too mad now we ain't trying to have a fight um but yeah i don't know hey, a lot of different sims around here nina oh that one right there Ooh, he looks like he kind of looks like don but he's really cute why is it so slow like it's kind of like laggy just unusual but oh he's handsome he really does look like him without a beard that is so freaking creepy uh she said it's been a so so week hopefully next week will will be better well you know what you know what oh it doesn't matter how cute he is look at her she is thinking about him oh she probably feels like so special and so happy that he asked her on a date you know which is really cute Wow, they have like the most freaking obnoxious laugh I've ever seen in my life, but I'm gonna have them both walk over here if the homeboy will get out of our freaking way. Steven, really you want to stand there and laugh at somebody? Freaking move, dude. Alright, let's go over here. I want them to like just get romantic with each other and stuff because he will have to leave for work well actually i forgot he won't have to leave for work at six because uh we're not on the home lot that only works when we're on the home lot so we have a few uh we have we have hot minutes so let's have him just like kiss her romantically and just you know hopefully he can take her home and they can uh, seal the deal if you know what i mean but let's have him um flirt with her, caress her a little bit. He's like, mama, you still look good. You know, you just had a baby, but girl, you bounce back quick. <laughs> uh, yeah, he could propose engagement to her. So, I don't, I don't know. Do y'all think he would? Oh, I think he answered my question for me. I think Don has had this up his sleeve for a while. <laughs> What a beautiful moment. I'm, I, I honestly think these two are going to regret this decision, but he's happy and she's happy. And in the moment, that's all that matters. So, yeah, we've got a wedding to plan. Uh, that's exciting. Give back rub. Okay, well... I mean, I know that stressed you out, honey. I know it took a lot for you to make that step in our relationship. And I'm so glad I got pregnant on purpose. Like, what? <laughs> oh, Nina, girl, you are something else. But anyways, let's come over here. And, um, well, I guess we need to add him as a group, right? So, let's do that. Let's, um, where do we do this? How do we, uh, what is, what is, what propose? Oh, marriage? What? Okay. Um, 
Let's ask him to form casual group uh, just for fun. Okay, we could do a date, but then if you do a date, you have to make sure you're like doing all the stuff that you're supposed to do to earn a good score. And I don't really feel like doing all that, but yeah, let's uh, do Jace. It's cute, you know, but yeah. can you not? I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to have a celebratory dinner with my fiance. So, okay, was they just holding hands? That looked like they were holding hands. Is she gonna ask? Did he just compliment him? Are you hitting on him? What? Hi, Don. Okay, hold. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Hi, Don. You know, I think you're... Well, I can't read. Okay, try that again. Hi, Don. You know, I think you'd really hit it off with this person I know. I'd love to set you up on a blind date right here and now. Are you interested? <laughs> and look at her back here. Okay, look, I could say yes, and I could cause this to be a lot of drama and a lot of just messiness, but he's like, dude, I literally just proposed to my baby mama, and you're gonna, really? I'm like, nah, but uh, give me your number. I'll text you later. <laughs> uh, all right, so I want, okay, ask um, to form a casual group just for fun. Oh, wow, yeah, okay. Mm, get a room, you two. Like? Alright, so let's order for all. We're going to make this easy, and we're just going to go ahead and get the lobster, because I love lobster, and this is a celebratory dish, if you ask me. It's $55 per person, but we're balling, we're bougie, we just got engaged. Bring us the lobster. Yeah, she's like, I cannot believe that you asked me to marry you. My ring is beautiful. He's like, yeah, you know, uh, I've been thinking about it for a long time, and you know, I know I haven't always been faithful. Um, I've made a lot of mistakes but you know you've been my number one girl since we were kids you're the mother of my child and I love Olivia I love our little girl with my whole heart and I want her to grow up with her parents you know in each other's lives and I can't promise you it's gonna be easy I can't promise you that I'm not gonna make some mistakes but I want her to be proud of me so I don't know we'll see you know I know that's like a very sentimental speech and you're probably thinking yeah right but I don't know and I'm kind of thinking yeah right too I'm kind of rolling my eyes like Nina don't be that naive but at the same time I, Nina she's a she's a player too I don't think it would take much temptation from a good looking male sim to get Nina to hop on it you know I just it's just these two and while they do love each other like I've said it, it's, they kind of have a toxic relationship it's up and down so I don't know, for Olivia, but we'll see. I do appreciate Don making, you know, that step though, you know, trying to to man up and be a to be a good man. So that's awesome. So alright, we're gonna wait on her to finish eating and then we're gonna pay our bill and we need to go ahead and go on home. Uh, because uh, technically he it's not gonna be eight o'clock when we, you know, get back home. We know that, but um, we do need to make sure we're showered. And all of our needs are good enough because we do need to go to work. I do need to start working on his skills, too. I haven't done that. He uh, needs to work on his logic and his cleaning so he can uh, move on up. Because technically, residents, they don't make any money, right? So, uh, maybe, I don't know where they got, okay, they got the money from combining their household. But technically, he doesn't make that much money. But he's like one promotion away from, you know, rolling in the dough. And I definitely want them to move, which I think their condo, 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 condo suits them very well. Just like their personalities. But I know I think we need something a little bit bigger. And I've had some people ask me, do you think that Nina and Don will have more kids? Um, I don't think so. I don't think they will together. I think one is enough for them. Um, but, you know, we'll see. You know, accidents could happen. All right, so they have arrived home, and I have Nina just cleaning up around the house and loving on Olivia. She's like, baby, mama, and daddy are going to get married. Isn't that so exciting? <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. All right, let's pick her up because apparently they can't climb the stairs. And let's um, put Olivia here so she can go potty. Oh gosh, Alan will not leave Don alone. Hey, I was looking through my phone book and thought I should get in touch with Don. It's been a while, so I wanted to check in. I've got a few other things to do, but we should get together later and go shopping or something. Mm, I don't know. See, like Don's already getting tested. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna have him um, 
I guess since nobody's downstairs doing anything, we'll have him come down here and take a nap on the couch before he has to go to work. He'll get maybe like an hour's rest. Um, wow, she's like, she's just submitting. She cannot believe that she got a ring on her finger. It looks like Olivia is about ready to go to sleep herself. Um, I don't know. This bathroom stays a mess, but I'm pretty sure it's because Don has the slob trait. So, I mean, what do you expect? All right, so Don is off to work, and I have um, Olivia taking a nap. And Nina also has to work today. She's actually taking her a bubble bath. And I'm actually about to have her go ahead and sleep since she does work late. I know she's going to be freaking exhausted by the time work comes around for her. But y'all, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here because if you ask me, it's been a very successful part. I mean, lots of fun stuff happened. Also, by the way, I forgot to mention this when I was looking at his aspirations and the little career thing we bought. I also used his uh, lifetime goal aspiration. Uh, rewards and I traded out the regular hot tub for this like romance one I just feel like it suits them <laughs> so yeah fun 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 anyways y'all I hope you guys like this video if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you have not hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload and for those of you asking about my sims for get famous LP Unfortunately, I do not have an early access to that game. I'm not an EA game changer yet. Fingers crossed I will be soon though. So my Sims 4 Get Famous LP will go up tomorrow, which is Friday. I'm not really sure what time, but if not in the morning, it will be um, in the afternoon. And I will be uploading two or three parts, just depending on how much you know I get done, how much fun I have with it. But yeah, stay tuned for that. And yeah, with all that being said, Thank you again for 1K subscribers. Y'all are awesome. I love y'all so much, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without. Oh, his eyes are killing me. And he keeps talking about everything that he likes, and I can't stop listening. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him.